fluid is your memory. Do you remember all of your passwords? How about a loved one's cell phone number? Do you remember what you did last Wednesday? Or what you bought at the grocery store? These days, we don't have a lot of need to remember things. Our phones and our computers take care of a lot of it for us. That is, of course, unless you're an actor. Hi, my name is Leslie Larson. I'm an acting coach and a director. And today, I'm here to share with you some of my favorite tips for memorizing your lines. There's no way around it. An actor's job involves having to memorize a lot of lines in a relatively short amount of time. And how each actor goes about memorizing will vary from actor to actor. But in my experience of professionally working and teaching, I've picked up a few tips. Here's tip number one. Memorize while doing something physical. Work on your lines while doing something physical, something that you do all of the time. So going on walks, gardening, washing the dishes, anything but sitting. Sitting isn't movement. And research has shown us that movement can actually aid in the act of memorization. Just like an athlete's body requires a physical memory, the act of memorizing while doing something physical will create a physical memory experience within the actor. Tip number two, memorize at full volume. Make sure when you're memorizing that you're working at full volume. And what I mean by this is that you're speaking clearly and you're projecting at a volume that you would likely use if you were on stage. If you're memorizing your lines in a softened tone or a whisper, maybe you're a little nervous that someone around you is going to hear and think that you're a little off your rocker. If you do that, then it's likely when you get onto the stage, you're not going to be able to project much more past the volume than you've already memorized. Memorizing your lines at full volume will ensure that you're not thrown for a loop when your director asks you to project a little or when you're asked to make bolder choices. But that's another tip for another Tuesday. Tip number three, memorize before bedtime. Working on lines before bed will actually help you retain them while you sleep. So memorize some lines and take a nap. It's literally your job. My last tip is my favorite one. It goes like this. You write down the first letter of each word in the sentence that you're trying to memorize, paying extra care and attention to any punctuation. So here's the line that I'm trying to memorize. It's from the importance of being earnest. If ever I get married, I'll certainly try to forget the fact. And here it is using the first letter technique. I'd go throughout the entire script, paying close attention to my cue lines and writing them down, and then writing my lines in this manner. It's easily the fastest way that i found to memorize if I have to quickly memorize copy for an audition or lines for an entire show. This technique is magical. Of course, there are other tips and techniques out there. I'd love to hear which ones work best for you. So leave your favorite memorization technique in the comments below. So that's our tip for this Tuesday. Thanks so much for watching. Try some of these techniques and see if you can memorize something unexpected. I want to give a shout out to our sponsors, Standout Arts, Heritage on Main Street, and Mountain Valley Homes Team. These professionals make this kind of content possible. Thanks so much for your support. We'll see y'all next time.